name is Christine Borch. I guess you could say I'm a Kapuna. I'm 61. I was living on 1A Street. When it happened, I walked away with nothing except my dog. And I've been part of the human experience experiment uh, ever since. Uh, first, you put us, first we were in Maui prep. They passed out toilet paper because they wouldn't let us use the bathroom. I guess we look like leprosy people to them in our dark skin. Then we went to Baldwin High. Now I'm at Royal Lahaina. We need help because we're being told by people from the mainland who are culturally insensitive to fill out papers that will give the America, which I am a forced American. I'm not a proud American. I am forced to be American in Hawaii. You're telling us to fill out this paperwork so that you can give us the least amount of money. All I've had since day one is $700. FEMA is fighting with SBA. I walked out yesterday because I'm hearing conflicting stories of what paper I should fill out. We need meetings in Lahaina. So many people, my employees, they're of Filipino and since, you know, they're Filipino. They don't know how to fill these papers out. Four out of five of us lost our homes. It was burned to the ground. We are only being told, stand in this line, sign here. What are we signing? Who is it benefiting, us or America? That's what I want to know. And I want to know when we get to go back to our home in Waianae. Maybe it's gone, but there for reasons that I don't want to discuss, we need to go back there. Are you guys going to just scrape it all away and say disaster zone and America's going to get what they want, their satellite city? Because this was planned years ago. It's now happening. And all the poor people, the homeless, the hardworking people of the hotels, the Kapuna, we lost everything. So you could have your satellite city. This isn't fair. I feel like I was used. I feel like crap on the ground. This is not right and we should not be treated this way. We're in a hotel and we have no communication. I cannot watch the news. I don't know what's going on. I just happened to see on Facebook there's a meeting here. We couldn't even have our pastor come in and ask us if we need prayer in the very beginning, but Oprah could come in. Who is she? Who is she? They said, oh, she knows the governor. We didn't need her in there in Bowen High. Get her out. We don't know. We also don't need people like Kaina Shiki telling tourists don't come to Maui because some of us, thousands of us, work in the hotel industry. They pay our mortgage. They give us our medical. And the medical, Three minutes. besides the county, is pretty good for somebody old like me. So don't go tell tourists don't come. Maui, because you're not speaking for us, the working people. You're speaking for yourself. Tourists come. We love you. We have aloha. You have gave us money through your donations. We're not saying don't come. Come, because you're, you will be helping us, the lower people. The, the grains of sand of Maui is what we are. We're not the ones living up why he, up in Laniapoku. Not one of those houses burned. Puamana is still there. Lahaina Shores is still there. Everything beyond the Civic Center is there, but the homes where we were working, where we were scraping, where we had less than $1,000 a month to pay for our basic needs of gas and food. We busted our ass, and this is what we get. Nobody called us. Our phones didn't work from five in the morning. The fire was not 10 o'clock when I went to work. The fire was still there. There was no water. Tell me if that's, that's coincidence. No water, no warning. And everybody talking about the satellite city before the fire. Lahaina gonna be the first satellite city. Well, hey, Jeff Bezos, you got what you wanted. Oprah, you got what you wanted. And the guy who owns the night, you got what you wanted. Fuck us all over. That's what happened. Okay. We need help in Lahaina. Who's going to come now and ask us, can I pray for you, Auntie? Thank you. Can I help you with your paperwork? Because all we got so far was $700, and we don't know who to call or anything. It's culturally insensitive in that zone. 